Now, in support of this, I'm going to play an excerpt for you from our debate with Roman Catholic priest and Jesuit professor Father Mitchell Pacwa and the late Protestant scholar Dr. Walter Martin. In this excerpt, you will hear that the different titles concerning Mary developed over time, that they are not found or taught anywhere in Scripture, that the title Mother of God may be proper in defining and protecting who Jesus is, but it would be better to stay with the use of the simple biblical designation, Mary, the mother of Jesus. The reason for this being that if we continue referring to Mary as mother of God, it can lead to a false syllogism and false conclusions about Mary. I'd like you to listen. First of all, the um, titles of Mary are titles that did definitely develop. And in no way do we deny that. But they developed in the councils because of defining who Christ is. To call her the mother of God is essential for the faith because otherwise it's to say that Jesus, God and man, is not God. I don't see any problem with, with that statement. Maybe Walter does. Mm. I, I did the Greek on that myself. And uh, well, if you're saying that G she is the one that produced God, no, and Catholic no. Church never taught that. But it sounds never. like that, doesn't no, it? No, that is only what people who teach heresy would teach. But this because so the Catholic Church never teaches that a human creature can ever produce divinity. She's the mother of Jesus Christ, God, and man. Right. Right. And therefore, the mother of God, because Jesus is God. Uh, it, it's based on a false syllogism. Uh, I was taught Jesus is God, Mary is the mother of Jesus, Therefore, Mary is the mother of God. You mm -hmm. were too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take that syllogism and apply it. Mm -hmm. God is Trinity. Yeah. Mary is the mother of God. Mary is the mother of the Trinity. The same logic holds and is devastated. And it's, she it, is the mother of God the Son, second person absolutely. of the Trinity. God in human flesh. She gave him a human nature. And, but also... Period. But not period. We never have said that she's the mother of the Trinity. I know that. I'm just trying to show that the syllogism which we have, which leads us to the conclusion that she's only the mother of God, you, only if you take it to the, the point of, of the heresy. Trinity. And that is never taken to that point. 